So we got Carrie from Able Syntech today and she brought us a new camera. Carrie, what did you bring us? I brought down the PMW F5 for you to see. Wow, this it's is pretty Sony's, exciting. Yeah, this is Sony's new 4K camera option. Depending on the configuration, there's a number of different ways you put the camera together, but between the F5 and the F55, there are the new 4K offerings coming out right about now. So the way we have this camera set up right now, actually it's, it's amazing because it's really compact and it feels so balanced on your shoulder. We call this kind of configuration, we're calling it the recoil. Uh, our rigs, uh, we're getting away from having the counterbalance in the back and having the rig really long and having the camera in front of you, but putting it more right directly on your shoulder. That opens up some, a little bit of can of worms for a lot of people, but we have solutions. Uh, for focus, you'll be able to focus from this hand grip here instead of have to reach up in front of your face. We put a standard Zacuto base plate on here, our UB3, and we put our new shoulder pad with a dovetail plate. And what's really great about the way you did this here is that he can slide this camera to get the balance point right where he needs it. Mm -hmm. And uh, by having this, this camera directly on his shoulder here, He's reduced like all the weight. This right. ended up being what, 16 pounds as we just said? 16 weighted? pounds. Mm -hmm. it's That's not a bad. nice package, man. I mean, uh, a lot of these rigs end up being 25 pound packages. Right. Or more. <laughs> So here you can see it has the S by S cards in it. Yeah, so you'll be able to do 50 megabits XDCAM HD, 2K Quad HD, and then XAVC, which is Sony's new codec. There is a new set of S by S cards coming out now that's called the Pro Plus cards. It's different than the Pro cards that have been out for a while. The existing S by S-1A orange cards, as well as the Pro cards, can be used in this camera for the XDCAM HD 50 megabit stream. But in order to shoot 2K or to do the high speed, you need to get the S by S Pro Plus cards. Price-wise, they're per gig about the same as the others. They're larger cards, so they'll cost a little bit more, but it's not any more expensive. And then in the F55, you have to have those cards certainly to do 4K on board. So let's talk more about some of the features of the camera. I see here you got two XLR inputs, which is nice. Yes, and actually this is modular, and this can be taken off depending on the type of configuration you're putting yourself into. So can the timecode module here. Oh. Your HDSDIs will stay. If you're going into a 3D rig, some kind of a steady cam setup, something along those lines, and yeah. you don't really need that, take it off. This is a 76 watt hour battery, and the camera itself is going to draw about 25 watts. If you were to put the R5 recorder, which would sandwich in between, you take this battery adapter plate off, it goes right in between here. The whole thing would be about another inch, inch and a half longer, then that's going to draw about another 25 watts, so about 50 pulling to run the camera in 4K mode. So basically this battery can power this camera for about an hour, give or take, depending on your viewfinder. That's great. Mm -hmm. Well, what we're seeing here is something different from Sony as an outside access to what's basically going to be your top menus, the things that you're going to normally need to get to pretty quickly. So from the side of the camera, you can change uh, your ISO setting, you can change your frame rate, you can get in um, and change your shutter, you can change the gamma. This is a setup that uh, people have been looking for. And I see another throwback to the ENG days where mm -hmm. the, the ND filters are on the outside yes. of the wheel. That's yes. great. Yeah, yeah. actual yeah, filters on the wheel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so when you buy this camera, let's talk about what you get and what you don't get. Obviously, you don't get our rig. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get that. Separate box. But okay. Uh, you get these XLR adapters? Yes, the XLR adapters come in the box, but it doesn't ship with this attached. You just have to put it on yourself. The battery adapter ships with it as well. Um, everything else is pretty much a la carte. It does come with the handle. But no EVF? The EVF does not come with because there are two specific EVF choices as well as a third choice, which is a camera top monitor. Well, something that people have been asking for specifically has been more of the, more the ability to have power outputs. On the battery adapter, you can see that there are some oh, wow. power mm -hmm. outputs here. And then there's also, there's an aftermarket setup that you can do that will allow you even more power outputs. So, so this, Lemos, is, yeah. mm -hmm. this is a distribution system. Then. Exactly, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. It comes with the standard uh, FZ mount, and on the F5, it's a black mount. On the F55, this FZ mount is silver. That's the only difference you're going to see from the outside. That's how you tell one from the other. Then, as standard, the PL mount adapter comes in with the camera as well. And it's a redesigned PL mount from what we'd seen on the F3. How much, approximately, is right. this kit? I always like to use the term roughly. Roughly, So, okay. roughly, if we're talking about the camera, the standard LCD EVF, as well as two cards, um, some sort of shoulder mount, and, uh, and the card reader adapter, then we'd be looking at about 24 for the F5 out the door. If you wanted to add in the 4K recorder and two cards for that, then you're looking at around 33, 33.5. Mm -hmm. The differences between the two cameras besides 
uh, having the onboard 4K in the 55. Are there differences? There's two that are really pretty striking. One is that uh, the 55 has a rotary shutter. So that's a big deal for a number of people. Um, as well as it has a much more ex expanded color gamut. It's very similar to what you would be getting in an F65. So for shooting for film type purposes, that F55 is going to make a big difference. Wow. On the broadcast side, the F5, it's more, it's similar to what you'd seen with an F3 in terms of its color gamut. Okay, so 4K in this camera, about 35, 4K mm -hmm. in the F55. About 45. About 45. So what do you think, Jens? This is a pretty impressive camera yeah, here. I'm excited about yeah. it. Yeah. I think it'll rig up nicely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're definitely going to get one. Okay. Thank you very much oh, for coming sure. down. Oh, sure. Absolutely. Thanks for having me down. Yeah. All right. Nice. Good to see you. Thanks.